producer, actress, philanthropist, life guru, the best gift giver of all time, and much more. Besides achieving household name status, Oprah made history after she became America's first black female billionaire back in 2003. Plus, did you know that she became a millionaire by the age of 32? While she now has more money than she knows what to do with, her finances weren't always fine and dandy. Make sure to keep watching until the end to meet the special young women who call Oprah Mama O. Before we take a look at this billionaire's spending habits, take a moment to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. All right, let's get to it. This is how Oprah spends her billions. Born in a rural town of Mississippi on January 29, 1954, Oprah's early years were rocky. Her parents had her very young and struggled financially. Sadly, she faced abuse from several people at a young age. This abuse caused her to become pregnant at the age of 14, which was a period in her life that she refers to as hitting rock bottom. Unfortunately, her baby didn't make it. But when talking about the situation publicly, she said, I was in many ways saved by that, and I made a decision that I was going to turn it around. And turn it around she did. She was focused on her studies and had a natural talent for public speaking. She even won a full scholarship to Tennessee State University after she won a speaking competition. She studied communications and went on to become Nashville's first African-American female co-anchor on the evening news at the age of 19. After starting her career in Nashville, Oprah relocated to Baltimore and was on the 6 o'clock news. She was actually fired from the evening news gig because she became too emotionally invested in the stories and would often cry. While getting fired isn't easy for anyone, this turned out to be a game changer in this billionaire's career. It eventually led to her becoming a host of the Oprah Winfrey Show, which went on for an amazing 25 seasons. Just because Oprah's talk show ended in 2011, that doesn't mean that she slowed down. On top of running Harpo Productions, O Magazine, and Oprah.com, this media mogul also launched her own TV channel, the Oprah Winfrey Network. Besides making money from all those ambitious ventures, Oprah was cast in the 2018 film A Wrinkle in Time, alongside Mindy Kaling and Reese Witherspoon. This wasn't her first acting role either. She actually almost won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress back in 1986 for her role in the movie The Color Purple. That was the first feature film that she ever did. And you've probably heard about Oprah's involvement with Weight Watchers. She invested $43.5 million in the weight loss company back in October 2015. Today, it almost seems like everyone's back on the Weight Watchers bandwagon. While its sudden popularity isn't all thanks to Oprah, she does deserve some credit. Her initial investment also surged, and it was said to be worth more than $400 million back in May 2018. Oprah is also a published author. Back in 2006, she was given an advance for a book deal that was supposedly the biggest advance ever given for a nonfiction work. Although the amount wasn't disclosed, it was revealed that this particular book advance topped $12 million. And if you're wondering why she was paid such an exorbitant fee, it's because Oprah was queen of books at the time. She started a book club back in 1996, and her endorsement of books was known to turn little-known books into bestsellers. Tens of millions of people watched The Oprah Winfrey Show each day, which meant that there were big sales for whatever product she recommended on the show. CNBC has even said that her impact on business is worth billions. Now that you understand how Oprah went from rags to riches, we can look at how exactly she spends her billions. Keep in mind, she is estimated by Forbes to be worth nearly $3 billion. If you were to buy every item on Oprah's 2018 favorite things list, you'd spend nearly $15,000 for a little over 100 products. While there are many things on the list that are affordable, she does recommend a $500 bamboo sheet set. Not only did Oprah invest in Weight Watchers, but this TV queen has a few investments under her belt. In July 2018, it was announced that she had made an undisclosed equity investment in True Food Kitchen, a healthy restaurant chain in Phoenix. 
The restaurant offers sustainable, local, and organic meals. It's expected that Oprah's investment will help to double the company's business in the next three years, which will also double her profit. But she's not in it for the money. Frankly, she doesn't need any more money. She just loves to bring people together over a good meal. And this business venture was an opportunity for her to bring good food to the masses. She owns a 20,000 square foot mansion in Montecito, California. She bought another piece of Montecito land right next door that boasts an equestrian center. Then there's her $8 million waterfront abode on Washington State's Orcas Island. She owns a charming ski chalet located in the mountain village of Telluride, Colorado. And she has beautiful waterfront property in Maui. Her Hawaiian paradise is so private that she even owns the four-mile road that leads up to it. Oprah even bought farmlands in Maui so that she could help give back to the community. She decided to get involved after she heard that the majority of Hawaii's food is imported from the mainland. And if you thought her homes were stylish, just take a look at what she uses to fly out to them. In 1991, the TV talk show host shelled out over $40 million for a private jet. Oprah believes that having your own airplane is the greatest luxury because you can decide to fly anywhere in the world on a whim. She actually purchased the extravagant aircraft after she had an unpleasant encounter at the airport. A rude woman had come up to her to berate her for not acting the same way that she acted on TV, even though Oprah was just trying to sit down and mind her own business. She bought a private jet so she'd never have to be harassed like that ever again. Obviously, this TV personality doesn't own the same jet that she bought back in 1991. She has since moved on to one that reportedly set her back $65 million. And while Oprah has all the money in the world to travel in style, she's also known for being super generous. In 2009, the media mogul turned heads after she took a bunch of work colleagues and their families on a cruise with her. The all-expenses-paid Mediterranean trip happened aboard a cruise ship that Oprah chartered, and they visited Spain, Italy, Turkey, Greece, and Malta in 10 days. In total, it reportedly cost $9.2 million. She also took her Dream Team OWN staff to Maui back in 2016. When the Time's Up campaign was created to help tackle harassment and sexism in the entertainment business, Oprah knew that she had to get involved. She donated $100,000 to the cause. In 2013, Oprah donated $12 million to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. She had previously donated $1 million to the museum, upping her total contribution to $13 million. In her statement on the matter, she said, By investing in this museum, I want to help ensure that we both honor and preserve our culture and history so that the stories of who we are will live on for generations to come. There's no doubt in our minds that Oprah will be in the history books hundreds of years from now. In honor of her generous donation, the museum's 350-seat theater was named after her. Oprah even once gave a DC nonprofit a $1 million check providing resources and housing programs for more than a thousand homeless women each year. N Street Village is used to operating on a tight budget. They were absolutely humbled and honored by Oprah's generous donation. But perhaps the greatest thing that Oprah continues to spend her money on is her Leadership Academy for Girls. Founded in 2007, the boarding school was created to help underprivileged girls living in nine provinces across South Africa. Oprah pays for everything herself and estimates that it has cost her $140 million to run over the last decade. When one of her students was in a bad car accident and required multiple surgeries, Oprah paid for all of her expenses. Many of the girls attending the school come from impoverished communities in rural areas. They grew up in huts and were devalued because of their gender. Many students are also orphans that have been through unimaginable abuse. Oprah even admitted in an interview that the majority of the girls coming to her school have suffered six major traumas on average. And we're not exaggerating by calling them her girls. Oprah may not have any biological children of her own, but she is Mama O to these students. While the girls had little hope of achieving their dreams before they were gifted with the opportunity to go to Oprah's school, they now go on to attend prestigious universities like Brown, Oxford, and Stanford. Though she's written a lot of checks for many different organizations, creating a school and changing the trajectory of so many people's lives is the best feeling in the world for Oprah. And maybe that's why people love Oprah so much.
Not only has she built herself up from nothing, but she loves to bring other people up with her along the way. And that's all for how Oprah spends her billions. Did any of her expenses surprise you? What would you buy if you had a bank account like hers? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on your favorite celebrities. Producer, actress, philanthropist, life guru, the best gift giver of all time, and much more. Besides achieving household name status, Oprah made history after she became America's first black female billionaire back in 2003. Plus, did you know that she became a millionaire by the age of 32? While she now has more money than she knows what to do with, her finances weren't always fine and dandy. Make sure to keep watching until the end to meet the special young women who call Oprah Mama O. Before we take a look at this billionaire's spending habits, take a moment to like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. All right, let's get to it. This is how Oprah spends her billions. Born in a rural town of Mississippi on January 29, 1954, Oprah's early years were rocky. Her parents had her very young and struggled financially. Sadly, she faced abuse from several people at a young age. This abuse caused her to become pregnant at the age of 14, which was a...